Hi, in this tutorial what I'm going to do is to be looking at colour name and I'm just thinking outside of the box because normally we clone um, to take um, usually to fill in colour, to f fudge over scratches, to basically repair damage. But here's another way of thinking out of the box that occasionally you are working with patterns um, for if it's somebody's dress with a pattern on it and you're trying to repair the damage to the graphic so just keep with this one I know you can copy and paste the whole graphic but in this demonstration I'm going to clone it instead of copying and pasting so I'm bringing in my clone tool I've selected 300 click the selection bring it across and I'm going to clone the image Now, if you actually think outside of the box, there's a lot of applications for that. Um, bring it in, oops, clone. Bring it again, and you can make multiples. Go over again, take it, and make multiples. It's just something different, but certainly if you're working with patterns, as opposed to flat colours when you're repairing damage to graphics whether it's a photograph or a, a piece of clip art or you want to create art if you've got one another way of using it rather than copying and pasting is to use your clone tool as I said you're just thinking out of the box if you introduce um, layers you might be able to work slightly different with them and again just by cloning it's simple but the application to use it in in other ways are multiple enjoy the program bye for now